Yeah, mm. Welcome back to You Don't Know I June on Bargain Bin Lounge. I think the show's already starting. Go ahead and kick up a seat, right grab yourself a now. soft drink, Good. grab some chips. Hey, Time to watch some TV. Got a little bit of watered-down diluted vodka for you, if you want to go ahead and spice it up a little bit. Ooh, thank you. How many people do we have playing? Uh, we got two. We got two peeps. Right, that works for me. Now, player one, you can go ahead and talk We can enter our day. names this time. It's me! Fancy. Nisky! Good. Now, player two, that would be, let's uh, have your name. It's an adult who's still a uh, kid inside. Like, Yudi? Yudi! Yeah. Nisky oh, and yeah. Yudi. Hey, I need to know if you want to play a game with 21 questions or a game with... Oh, <laughs> please. Always 21 right, questions. It. We're in for the long run. We got the stamina, baby. Mm -hmm. I am Q. <gasps> hey, Baba Booey! Yeah! I was hoping they'd have questions like this. Here we go, it's almost time for the show! I'm excited. And then you see the title screen for Young Flintstones come on. Uh, 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 mm -hmm. The Flintstones Kids? Is that what it was called? I think so. Somebody posted that online. Oh god! You remember the one where Bam Bam and, and Pebbles were like teenagers? Uh, oh no! I don't want to remember that. Because somebody posted the intro to Young Flintstones, or Baby Flintstones, whatever it was, and I was like, I do remember that! Why do I remember this? Don't touch that dial, because it's time! You don't know where it's been. But don't worry, I'm gonna use dial soap on it. Uh -huh. Television. All right. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Well, look at this. We got a two-person game today. Okay, I want you to shake hands. Harder, okay. Okay. Shake hands. Shake hands. Ah, Pleasure it. to meet you. Pleasure, Pleasure to meet you. Yes, yes, yes. Time to watch TV. To a good game. Here to we go. To a good game. First order of business. Screws. Okay, word on the screws. If you get to a question that you know your neighbor doesn't have the answer to, show no mercy. Buzz in, hit the S key, and screw S key again. Yeah. All S right. key again, gotcha. S for screw. Okay. So for those of you who had never played You Don't Know Jack, they made multiple games within a short time span and just released them like nuts. All right, Monster Masquerade. Hi, I'm Hammer. Can I nail you or the long charm of the love? Oh, with Monster Masquerade. Yeah, let's talk about the monsters. And our special guest tonight, Monster Masquerade. You Jesus, answer, wow. Off the rip. Bucks. Okay, free your mind. If Grandpa and Herman Munster go to a Halloween party disguised as the characters the oh, oh. on an earlier show together, uh. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, mm. as the char- Oh. Oh. You know what? Let's hit the negative early. As ugly game show hosts, listen up, my friend. There's no such thing as an ugly game show host. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I just wanted to insult the game. Okay. Wanted you, to see what would happen. You're right. Take a Sweet dreams. Ew. Yeah. Why didn't you pick this one? Police officers? Actors police Lewis officers. Wow. Originally played police officers on Car 54. Where are you? Of course, they'd have to get their Halloween outfits. I don't. Big, oh, but uh, okay. I barely even recognize Extensive that show. knowledge. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. I was kidnapped, but hmm. These are good categories, but I'll go for this. A long, strange TV show. Yeah. We're calling this one a long, strange. A long, TV strange show. TV show. You get it right, you get 2K. Eyes forward, we're going. Imagine Robinson Crusoe is picked up by a ship and thinks he is hallucinating because he sees mermaids on board. Which oh, ship has picked him up? The um, Red Tide, the USS Enterprise, uh, the Love Boat, or the SS Minnow? Ow, burning, burning, burning! No! Oh, God. Take it. Was it the Love Boat? In its last season, the Love Boat featured a group of performers called the Love Boat Mermaids in an attempt to save the show. Oh, wow. Lucky guess. guess. <laughs> it was either that or Riptide. I was going to guess Riptide next. The USS Enterprise. So, you know, it had to fail. <laughs> that would have been really funny to get wrong. Exactly, oh, you yes. know it. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, cover that up. This is question three. This category is known as Hey, cover that up. I'm gonna make oh, this only one a thousand, thousand nah. bucks. Alright, imagine there's been a big government cover up about the first appearance on Earth by the alien Mork from Orc. Because Mork first appeared oh. on his or her show, who of the following would be the best person for the government to play your No, that time with Mindy was not Mork's first appearance. Oh really? Oh boy. Oh god ah. 
Man. Who of the following would be the best person for the government to silence? I have woefully misrepresented the decade Mel. in which they Mel were going to be asking Alice? us this shit. No, but I can see how you might get confused. The 70s, 80s, it's and 90s, I think. Era. It's the hair. Yeah, I got that wrong. Here's they got some 60s shit in here. Richie? <laughs> okay. Oh, this is gonna be rough. I feel like for the first time, we do not know Jack this time around. <laughs> There's gotta be at least one, right? We gotta we got have one that's like, oh, cake! Yeah, yeah! At least one. Category time, player oh. two. Uh, uh, dumb. Hmm. Son, your father and I have something player to tell two, you. you chose wisely. Player uh oh one, pay attention and maybe you'll learn something, because player two is moving into it. Uh, you get a dis or dat. Hey, all right. Let's dick yourself out of the negative. Let's do it. The category for this dis or dat is, son, your father and I have <laughs> something to tell you. Okay, I'm going to give you a oh, list parents? of seven TV characters, and for each one, I want you to tell me if the character is adopted or not adopted. Oh. Oh. Oh, okay. As okay. each one comes up, if the character is an adopted child, press one. If he or she is not adopted, press two. And to skip it, press four. Okay. We'll get 500 okay. Bucks for each all answer, right. 500, 500 all right. Mm. I think you can at least get close back to zero. Let's hope so. All right, I'm gonna start Here we go. I'll even help you with this because I'm interested. Okay. Let's do it. Danny Partridge, adopted or not adopted? Oh, the Partridge family, not adopted. Rudy from the Cosby Show. Uh, he was. No, he wasn't. Webster. John Boy Walton. John Boy Walton. Gloria from All in the Family. Oh. Arnold yeah. from Different Strokes. Last one, Ernie from My Three Sons. Be awesome! <laughs> I got something out of that at least. See, I recognize the names, but I've never watched the shows. Let let alone know the plot points in which they're adopted or not. Exactly! I just recognize the characters. Uh don't call me Mr. Mr. Niskel is my father. Dun, dun. Like, what's the name of that song? Enjoyment? Don't call me Mr. 2,000 bucks for Those endearing young charms. Well, is oh, is it really? Yeah. Huh. High school teachers There's a full title of that, foolish, but... Have as much to learn about life as their students, and they're always called Mr. Which of the following TV Misters is not a teacher? Mr. Novak. Mr. <laughs> Mr. Peepers from Mr. Peepers. Mr. Sunshine from Mr. <laughs> Tell your player... I don't care what the other children say, you'll always be my favorite. Player two Damn it. Balls in your court. Take a shot. You know you want to correct answer, right? Oh, man. For the curious, here's the right answer. Mr. Smith, he's an orangutan with an IQ of 250. <laughs> he's not a teacher by trade, but don't be fooled. Mm. We learned something mm. about life <laughs> and ourselves. It was an orangutan. <laughs> grossly <laughs> underestimated the, the categories Yeah. Here. This is going to be a bloodbath. Uh, but will it play in Stockholm? <laughs> <gasps> oh, no whammies, no whammies! Uh. Wide and get ready for, but will it play in Stockholm? How does $2,000 sound? You know, sometimes it seems like every ethnic and religious group in the country has found something to protest on television. But did you ever think it would be Swedish Americans? Because he mangled the Swedish word smorgasbord in commercials for Underwood Deviled <laughs> Ham, which 70s TV spokesman could have been a target of Swedish picketing? No Mason way! Ripsy Russell, Rodney Allen Rippey, or Joe DiMaggio? Hmm. Uh -huh. I only know one of these people. Nipsey Russell? Oh, uh, that answer is. Crap. So, <laughs> go take a nap. There. That rhyming stuff ain't so hard. Nailed it. Player two, you want? Play Mason Reese was that little redheaded kid who kept saying that having Underwood deviled ham was like having a morgus board. So the Swedes might mm. not like that. <laughs> Holy <laughs> God. Look at the words. This is a tough one. I'm happy about it. I think I've died. I think I want to die. <laughs> you know, this just takes me back to when I would just play this game and guess on every single question because I knew nothing. Uh, to every season, there is a Muppet. Oh my god, this is so old. There were still turn dial TVs. There is a Muppet. We're playing for $3,000 this time. Flex those fingers, here it comes. Given these characters' names, who would be the best choice as a Four Seasons Hotel's spokesperson? The cat from The Simpsons, the king from Mr. Rogers, the princess from Howdy Doody, or Edith's cousin from All in the Family? Bleh. Uh... 
Player Snowball. The Simpsons cat? No, but if there were a chain Fuck. called Hot Tin Roof Inn. Player two, now How about the king from Mr. Rogers king trademark? Friday for Mr. Rogers? No, but he's a shoe in for TGI Fridays. No. Yeah. Yo, mozzarella. Is it either yeah. Edith's cousin? Okay, now here's a good answer. The Native American princess on the Howdy Doody show is called Princess Winter Spring Summerfall. And <laughs> hey kids, what time is that? That's it? awesome! That's stupid! Oh, that is so awesome! God! Let's have a category. Guys, uh, uh, get real! Real world? Now? Maybe? Well, what the do we real have here? World. Get real. You get it right, I'm putting you up $2,000. All right, imagine this. On the next season of MTV's yeah. The Real World, the kids go live in the Smithsonian and use all the old TV props there. Which will they not <gasps> be able to do? Sit in Archie Bunker's armchair, pet a stuffed lassie, fire up the still from M.A.S.H., or try on Fonzie's leather jacket. Not be able to do. They didn't the stuff Smithsonian Lassie. Smithsonian doesn't have a stuffed Lassie on display. Why would they stuff Lassie? That would, that would be have so been that weird. would be awful. Oh no! But everything else, wow. If I was wrong, I didn't want to be right. <laughs> unimaginative, unimaginative male fantasies. Let's go. What do we got? Brady Bunch. Duh. Because Alice broke everything. No. Male fantasies. One thousand bucks if you get it. And now your question. Based on his wife's occupation, which of these sexual fantasies definitely comes uh. true for Jack Tripper of Three's Company fame? Being flown by a sexy flight attendant, being beaten up by a sexy dominatrix, being taught by a sexy ski instructor, or being treated by a sexy nurse? I thought one of them was a flight At attendant. At the end of 3's company, Jack meets Vicky, a flight hmm. attendant, and they live happily ever after on the spin-off Three's a Crowd. Wow! Her father's always burst. Guess or did you know that? Them during sex. His fantasies are educated guess. Educated guess. It was either that or nurse, but flight <laughs> attendants said it more right. Good. And boys! <laughs> oh my god, it's a film reel! Love it. Keep it rolling, keep it rolling. Come on, come on. We're still going. The category is boys. Let's see what you'll do for a thousand bucks. Alright, boys. Let's see what we got here. I hope you were paying attention to the last question because. Well, nah, it's probably not going to help you at all here. <laughs> if mm. Vicky from Three's a Crowd... Oh, shit! Damn it! Animaniacs, what would the Animaniacs most likely say to her? Tell your... Yeah, that's right. We learned in the last question that she's a flight attendant. What? <laughs> new question. Wow! Player two. Damn it! Well, if it's Animaniacs, it's Hello, Nurse! Whenever the Warner Brothers see an attractive female, they say, Hello, Nurse! I paid too not, much attention! <laughs> yeah, I guess... Hello, Registered Medical Assistance Professional! Didn't have quite the same pizzazz. Awesome! Okay, what even happened? Let's see what happens I also missed the not okay, likely. I get to hand out the screws, so let me get those screws. Okay. Look at all this stuff. Cool. I have the technology. I can rebuild him. Right, Just keeping on brand for all this. You hey, don't know, Jack. You guys, nobody even tried to screw each other in round one. Come on, it's simple. You buzz in, you hit the S. I think we're already getting screwed. It so was straight no up bewilderment. Okay, you don't know, Jack. Like yeah. It's just good old-fashioned screwing. Let's do some of it, huh? Let's do some. Bam. Two, how about a category? Oh, uh, mythical bars. Maybe we'll get a Cheers uh, question. There we go. The category mythical bars. You get a right answer, you're walking away with four wow. grand. Okay, get all that money. Sleep out of your eyes. See if you can figure out the following analogy. Trojans is to Greeks as Cheers is to Fenway Park, Gary's Old Town Tavern, Melville's Fine Seafood. You got it. No, you don't. I'm just Fuck. Oh. Oh. Damn it. Isn't it? Just like the Trojans and the Greeks had a long time rivalry that included the Trojan War, maybe you've heard of it. Cheers and Gary's Old Town Tavern are all around Nemesis. Yes. There you go. Yeah, I think there was this one episode where Sammy finds I think I've watched one dead. episode Only of Cheers. I haven't watched enough Cheers because I started well, with Frasier. Okay, it didn't happen. He doesn't show up until season three, so. Wow. Player one, what's up? Oh, that's a partridge question. <laughs> uh, damn yellow pages. 
kids don't even know what the yellow pages are. Yeah, it's really yellow page these days, as far as I know. Let's yeah. have a big warm welcome for Damn yellow, yellow pamphlet. Pages. How does four thousand dollars? <laughs> yellow grab post it. Fast. It's question time. <laughs> Based on how Agnes DePesto from Moonlighting answers oh, good the phone Lord. the detective agency, what service my customers think they've called by mistake? Dial a joke, dial a mime, dial a poem, or dial a foreign country. Uh. Mm. Moonlighting? Probably to, to, just to be silly. Hello, is this dial a mime? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Can I <answer> <laughs> oh. <laughs> works, for, works for me. Uh, works for me. Go. Nope. Agnes DePesto generally answers the phone with a poem. Oh shoot! I was actually thinking about that one, but second guess myself when Dial a Mime was forefront of my mind. Where are we heading? Uh, that ain't lava. That's a space station. Here we have. That ain't lava. Heads up. Ooh. It's gonna be six thousand. Big money, big bucks. money. Okay. Did you ever have a lava lamp? Come on, yeah. come on. Yeah. Yeah. You could sit there and stare at it for hours. Yeah. Yeah, they're great. Well, if you had a lava lear lamp, what trippy thing would you most appropriately do with it? <laughs> Set it on fire. Point it at a football hole. <laughs> eat it or clip it to your lapel. Yeah. Hmm. A lavalier microphone is that little mic that gets clipped to mm. your lapel or hung around your neck. I had to think about it. Tonight, news. I eventually news. remembered oh, what they were really called. Trippy. Cut! Cut! For you. This has been back and forth. One, yes, I like it. Uh, where'd you get those eyes? I got them from my friends. Oh. Let's see what we got going. Where'd you get those eyes? Four thousand big ones for a right answer here. Let's My eyes pop out. But, oh, oh. oh. Hmm. Jeepers creepers. Who in the hell is Mr. Peepers? Oh. A science teacher, a hand puppet, a huge roving eyeball, God. a shrill voiced baby chick. From Jeepers Creepers? One or the other. I'll, I'll go with it. I'll tell you what, this'll be our little Fuck. secret. Player two, now play Mr. Peepers is the science teaching title character what? of a 1950s sitcom starring Wally Cox. Oh, it's the sitcom, not the, make a dirty joke not, the not the film. Name, Jeepers, creepers, creepers who is Mr. Peepers? Uh, that's, a, that's the joke. Uh, I see. Not the horror movie. It's not, it's movies. I know, I know. Player two. Uh, the Weather Channel can be so melodramatic. Hey, stress cut with lime sore. Oh, a gibberish question. Oh, really? Oh, okay, all right. Let's see. Good luck, mate. Sense out of this gibberish category. The Weather Channel can be so Woo! melodramatic. Let's see how much uh, ten thousand dollars you can win on hmm. this gibberish. You think you got it? Let's now see. Check this out. As the time disappears, so oh, does the money. Oh, I'm in here too. The sooner you buzz in, the better. Okay. Yeah, get it's ready to we, we gotta type out the thing. And tell me, with what does this rhyme? Sure. What? First clue, it's a greeting on Oh, There's damn it! Oh, damn it! Damn it! Oh, oh. I was there, so there was her, that was her buzzer! I was so close! Storm! Storm! You know, damn it! Uh, uh, I work because everybody you knows your name! Watch, I even I clicked it seconds after you, or okay, one second after you. The queue was on there. That's how that's I how know. close it was. Oh, mating mm. rituals. Let's fuck. God. Twenty-five. Oh. He's wearing a mask. Mating rituals. I got two thousand dollars. Says you don't know this one. All right, give me your best shot. If the courtship of Eddie's father were a show about the courtship of Eddie from Frasier, what might you- Oh shit. Yeah. Yep. Oh. Player one, you're screwed. Oh. Answer. It's a uh, Frasier question. Yeah, I know it's a Frasier question. Uh, this. I, I thought I could've sworn that- No, Fuck. please, no! Ah! Player two, you want it? Psychological theory. Eddie was the dog. Eddie from Frasier is a dog, and dogs sniff <sighs> each other's anuses. Cool. Okay. And he was a good boy. A good dog boy. He was a the good only boy. Ones that sniff anuses. There, you're happy now. Okay. What's it gonna be, player two? When uh, being unemployed isn't fun anymore. It eventually does stop being fun. 
after the first week or so. All right, then you need, like, food and unemployed. bills to pay. And then anymore. you just get bored. Yeah. Coming your way for a right answer. Hey, check me out. I'm a commercial. Are you tired of being unemployed? You've read the classifieds. You've used connections. You've even gone to a headhunter. And you still don't have a job. Well, it's time for a visit to the big giant headhunter. In what field might he help you find a job? Alien communications, animal psychology, haberdashery. Player one. You should have bought a vowel. Damn it. Mm. I'm sorry, children. Please don't feed the loser. Hey. Oh, I see what you were going with. On the show Third Rock from the Sun, the big giant head. I didn't watch Third Rock from the Sun. Yeah, I didn't either. With from Earth. And judging by his name, he's probably got connections in the adult film industry. Oh. <laughs> that was like Big Bang the Theory before, before that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, because I'm sure the public gives a crap. I bet that Two's Company Three's crowd would have been another Three's Company uh, question. Which is why I didn't select it. it. I'm sure the Good lad. Gives a crap. I'll give you four thousand clams for this bad boy. See what you can do with this one. That's a lot of clams. Yeah, I like clams. Sam Donahue hosts a show about his own marriage. Given his wife's most famous TV role, what would make the best title of the show? Player. Player two, you got no choice. Give me an answer. Survey says. Woo one, you can take it. <laughs> <laughs> snarf, 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 snarf. I just got it completely wrong. Phil Donahue. I have no idea. Oh, here's the one the winners pick. In 1980, that talk girl. Show pioneer Phil Donahue I didn't see that, that girl, girl either. Yeah. Thomas. Of course, the show would probably this is awesome. We're on an even playing field. Like except for Frazier. <laughs> and the small girl. amount of cheers knowledge that got us through the gibberish question. Player one, your choice. What? I got something for you. What, what? What is it? Another question. Oh no! Question nineteen. Ah! Shake no hands questions. with. I got Aww. something for you. One right answer, and you got six thousand dollars. Awesome. At hey, do you remember that nineteen seventy-seven made-for-TV movie Something for Joey? What is that Something for Joey? Oh Bobby God! His first kiss. Something for Joey is about Penn State running back John Capaletti Woo! who gives his Heisman Trophy to have his you seen it? brother. Absolutely not. It just sounded right. You could have lied and said, yeah, yeah and educated I would have you. My older brother when I was little. He turned to me and he said, you know what, Schmitty? If I ever get rich and famous, I'm not giving you a damn thing. I hate him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, where are we heading next? Player one, tell me what's next. Huh? Up to you. Spit take with a frosty, but I'll go with you're a big fat what? <laughs> Yeah, it just gets all over you. <laughs> Ew. May I introduce? You're a big fat what? You get this one? You Not enough to get out of the negative, box. unfortunately. Okay, imagine you're a teacher and you're having a really bad day. You tell your students to bear with you because you're becoming a bit frazzled. Well, one little boy thinks you said I'm becoming a big fraggle and he begins to freak out. Well, it's all yours, player one. Down in Fraggle Rock. Fraggles are those little frizzy haired muppets yes. in the hole in the wall, otherwise known as Fraggle Rock. A Fraggle Rock. Rock question? Are you kidding me? I was studying the other questions I to see if it was that simple. That I was like, oh, yep, yep, that's it. Okay. I read ahead, saw Fraggle, and went, got it! So, this is for the Jack attack. Uh, initials. After the initial initials. Like Doogie Hauser MD, or... Yeah. This should be interesting. Welcome to the Jack attack. When you see two words on the screen that match, hit your buzzer. If you're right, I'll give you 2,000 bucks. If you're wrong... Out of the negative. Down Out of the negative. But don't Out of the forget. negative. Remember the clue. Not any Remember the it. clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. After the initial, initials. I'll see you after this Jack attack. So long. Ooh, nice catch, yeah. nice catch. Nope. <laughs> TJ! <laughs> Ooh, TJ Hooker. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, the actual abbreviation was there. It's Friday, <laughs> I guess. Uh... Ass. Ooh! 
Got. Beat me to it. Uh. What? F. Uh. F pimp. F troop. F troop. That's right. Yes. Bad. B Buck. <laughs> Damn it. The the bear. AKA Pablo? AKA Pablo? Yeah. <laughs> He's so slow. In Cincinnati? Really? Well, you won again. Huh. That one was so freaking rough, and I didn't get to the positive! Uh, I want to thank my dad and my uncle for talking TV when I was a child. Oh my god. I think that retained uh, a little bit in my brain yeah, over, over the years. Bit. Just, just, just a bit. You don't know Jack. But I still don't know Jack, I, I will admit. I don't know Jack about old TV. The Frasier question, I think, is what solidified things. <laughs> thank you, Eddie. That's a good boy, Eddie. That's a good boy, Eddie. <laughs> All right. And now you feel how Frasier feels about Eddie. I load that mutt. <laughs> <laughs> so, next week on Barton Bin Lounge... We're, go we're moving away from PC and heading into the consoles. There are two recent You Don't Know Jacks. One for uh, the third gener... Not third gener... Uh, the, uh, seventh... Seventh generation for PS3, Xbox 360, and one that's included in some Jackbox volumes. I think, last two. I think I got your number on the next one we're playing. I think you might, but I've played the whole thing, too. Cool. Let's see what we get. Let's pick our favorites. That'll work. Yeah, all right. See you next time.